In this video, we're going to be talking about an AI tool that works just like ChatGPT, Perplexity, and Claude all together. And today's tool is going to be Minstrel AI LeChat. Now, this was just recently released, and this is going to allow you to be able to search the web, create images, create content such as blog posts, video scripts, newsletters, whatever it may be. It can also build custom AI workflows. I'm going to leave all of the resources and documentation in the bottom of this video, but essentially Minstrel AI is a French company and it works amazing. It works very similar to ChatGPT and Perplexity, but it's basically an all-in-one platform. And within this video, I'm only going to be showing you the free plan, but they do have a pro plan at $14.99. They also have a team plan, very similar to ChatGPT. So on the free version, here's exactly what we can do. We can do web browsing. We can look at news. We can upload files. We can also use data analysis for coding. We can do image generation and they are built on top of Flux. Now, if you ever feel like you need more information on the specific AI large language model, we can go ahead into their resource and documentation knowledge base. And you can see that they have a bunch of different capabilities. We can do this for text generation. We could do code generation and get ideas of what to do, function calling, fine tuning, and how we can create AI agents using LeChat. And if you need any prompting capabilities, we have all of these specific ways that you can create classifications. You can also summarize, personalize, and evaluate with specific prompts. And they give us the user and assistant prompting methods. So just follow this. I'm going to leave everything in the description below. Okay, so once you've created your free account, we're going to be inside of the chat. And it looks very, very similar to ChatGPT. And what I like about this is that it's just a clean user interface. Here, we're going to be able to upload PDFs or images. If you click on this drop down, we're gonna be able to use their Canvas feature. This is gonna allow us to write code, write articles. You can use their web search functionality. You can also create images within Flux and you can use your code interpreter. So let's actually try this out together and I'm gonna just use different ways that I would be using this tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this image here, which is a YouTube video outlier. And I'm gonna have it give me different ideas for my own channel based on this specific topic that we're creating. Based on this video outlier and title, Give me 15 unique title ideas that are similar to the image attached. Give me the reason why below and also three thumbnail design elements. The topic is about this specific video, which is Minstrel AI LeChat. All right, so we got some output back and I may have messed up with my prompting, but you can see here that it kind of merged the two topics together. So we want to make sure that we're just talking about Minstrel AI LeChat. Just go ahead and say, I am previewing this AI tool and need title formats that resemble the outlier video image. And this is only about Mistral AI. There we go. So now we're getting amazing title ideas and we can really choose one of them. So we have this AI will make you rethink everything. This AI will make you appreciate life more. This AI will make you question reality, which is pretty good. So we have some good ones. We also have some thumbnail design ideas based on the specific image. And I just think that this is going to be very powerful for us. Let's go ahead and continue seeing what it can give us and maybe have it create an image for our thumbnail. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this drop down here and we're going to click on image generation. Now I'm going to go ahead and prompt it to create our YouTube thumbnail based on one of the title ideas and thumbnail design ideas. We're going to be choosing the title idea that this AI will make you rethink everything. Now create a YouTube thumbnail design guaranteed that will get high click through rate. Make sure the YouTube thumbnail shows a shocked face with three words that drive curiosity and make it lo-fi anime gloomy style art because I am a huge anime nerd. So let's see what it does. It might not be perfect, but I really, really want to test it out. So you can see here that it's working and it's also creating that image that we requested. Boom, there we go. So this is actually pretty cool. I do like it and I can add that into another tool like Canva and edit it further. So next up, I want to show you the search functionality and this works pretty cool. So I can just say something like, is Poppy AI worth it? And see what it gives me. And, and the reason why I did this one is because I do rank on the first page of Google and I wanted to make sure that it actually pops up because I wrote this article less than a month ago. So you can see here that my page does show up when people search in is Poppy worth it or Poppy AI review, which is just another AI tool. And you can see that it is populating and showing my article in this search. Now, do I think it's as good as ChatGPT's? I don't think so. I don't like how the numbers are that tiny. You have to try to kind of hover over it. Um, but overall, it is a free search function. So I can't really complain. So let's see how well it does by scraping my website page in that article and creating a brand voice. And I want to see if it performs it well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this URL for my article and I'm going to paste it in here. 
and I'm going to ask it to create a brand voice and style guide for this specific article and I want to see how well it performs. So what I'm going to say is scan this article and create an advanced brand voice and style guide. Look at the patterns, logistic features, and the way I structure my content, then use that to create a 200 word sample paragraph. So we can see that it's working here and it's opening that page to the specific article so we know that it's actually working. Cool, so it looks like it actually did its thing. It created a brand voice. It's saying that I have a conversational and engaging tone, informative yet casual, clear and concise, and then I'm also using specific elements, illustrating points and showing the product's focus and the visual organization. It even shows my call to actions saying poppy AI code, my storytelling, and now it created a sample paragraph. So this is not too bad. Imagine this, you're staring at a blank screen trying to organize your thoughts for your next big pro project. Traditional AI tools have you stuck in a linear chat killing your creative flow. So yeah, this is actually pretty good. All right, so now let's go ahead and try the Canvas feature, and I'm gonna have it create a table format that I could use for future references when it comes to planning my content and also maybe even creating a pros and cons table of contents. So let's try that out. So I'm just gonna say create a pros and cons list of Poppy in a visual table format. All right, so I told it to create a pros and cons list and it did it directly in the chat, which it should have done it through the Canvas feature. So all I said was make sure you create this in the Canvas mode. And now we have that on the left-hand corner. So you can see that it gave us a pros and cons list here. We can start to edit it further inside of the actual Canvas mode. And it looks really, really cool. All right, last but not least, I wanna create something with code. So we're gonna just do a simple calculator with the chat and see how that looks. Create an HTML calculator that tells you how much you can make from a DoorDash side hustle. And I wanted to calculate a few things. Number one, the hours worked, the average pay, and also how many deliveries. I'm gonna also say make it look clean and modern. All right, so you can see that it's creating that HTML code for us here. And so what I can do is I can click on copy once I have the code and I can go to my website. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a test page here within WordPress and I'm gonna add in HTML and add in that code right in here. And I'm gonna click on preview. And here we can see that it looks pretty good. So we have the DoorDash earnings calculator, the hours worked, average pay, and I wanna make sure that it actually works. So we're just gonna click on a random number here and let's say $25 and let's do eight deliveries and then click on calculate. So our estimated total earnings for the day would be $241. So I think that's pretty good and it's actually working really well. We just obviously need to add in some custom padding and making sure that it's not hitting the top of the screen. So that's the cool thing with Minstrel AI and I think it looks great. So as a recap, we have a bunch of different capabilities with LeChat. Again, we can use the Canvas mode for writing and coding. We can use their web search for coming up with new and interesting ideas that are currently happening in today's world. We also have image understanding so you can upload documents and images and use that to create more content. We have code interpreter. This is gonna help us utilize a specific tool to create a dedicated sandbox environment to handle data documents. We also have image generation, which of course is built on top of Flux, which is from Black Forest Labs. So if you are on the market to look for a different AI tool that isn't ChatGPT, Cloud, or Perplexity, I highly recommend they try Mistral AI. It's completely free and they do have paid plans, but it's a good tool if you finish your usage limits on these other platforms. If you have any questions, just reach out in the bottom of this video. I reply to every single comment. Thank you so much and I'll see you